So what is USD? The USD letters standing for the Universal Scene Description. The Universal Scene Description is a framework for exchanging 3D data and 3D assets throughout a production or throughout multiple studios and artists. The USD file system makes it also easy to exchange data between different DCC ad applications, such as SideFX Houdini, Maya, Blender, and many more. The nice thing is that the entire workflow is non-destructive. It's similar to, I would say, similar to a workflow inside of a nodal-based compositing system, such as Nuke or the nodal system in Fusion. It's, it's quite a long time here. It was published by Pixar in 2016 as open source and many developers trying to implement it right now. So the future will be crafted in USD. There's no doubt about it. And for us, for us Houdini artists, we have the privilege to use uh, a very, very nice tool, it's called Houdini, and Houdini um, has a very new uh, context, um, the so-called LOPS context, or also known as Houdini Solaris, and Houdini Solaris is an entire full-fledged tool to develop and edit and, yeah, work with the full power of USD files. And also you as a freelancer have a very big advantage. Houdini Solaris integrates the USD Hydra framework. The Hydra framework is essentially the imaging tool for those universal scene data. And Side Effects has also released their new Karma render engine, which plugs directly into this system. So, as I said, we are looking at uh, Renderman. I prefer it since Renderman has the advantage that I can work on a shot or on a scene inside of Houdini and do some test renderings, for example, and be able to export the entire data, the lighting data, camera data, modeling data, what you can imagine to Blender or to Maya. And when those tools also have a random man installation, you will be able to render the exact same image. And this is really, really great. And you also can export data from Maya back to Houdini. And when you did that, you can even edit the entire shader networks because the shaders got stored inside those files. Houdini Solaris combines all the power into a graphical user interface. So, and this also makes it easy to read a scene. So you can look at the graph and you see exactly what will happen when you move down the chain. In the USD scene, you see everything what happens. Of course, you can interconnect all parts of Houdini and can interconnect everything together as well as sources from outside. But it's, it's a lot easier to read and you see also all the outputs and all the layers and you know exactly what's going on. And this is also the biggest advantage. So I did the switch with Houdini 19 this year, the final switch to USD. I started uh, about three years ago to trying to understand it and I had a lot of fear. That since Houdini 19, I have no doubt that every one of you can create wonderful scenes in a very, very short period of time. I think in the future, it will be beneficial to all of us. So with that being said, what I, what I want to say with that is, there is no way around anymore. USD will come to all of us. When you start today, 
you have a very big advantage to all the uh, artists out there who refuse to learn it. You have to deci decide for yourself, but when you want to stay ahead of the time, you have no other choices to learn it. And these days Houdini 19.5 is out and with Houdini 19.5 you have additional tools and additional developments that help you to dive into it. So yeah, I hope it will take you fear and I will see you hopefully in the next chapter of this very long tutorial.